Put Elder Beerman's two-day sale on your list of important things to do this weekend. Save on new season merchandise this Friday and Saturday, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Okay. What? The 80s called. They want their store back. Radio Shack has often been described as a distribution system for products of technology. Without a doubt, one of these new high-tech products is Radio Shack's transportable cellular telephone. With cellular technology, it's now possible for a large number of consumers to have a fully functional telephone in their car or boat. And our unit can be used as a full 3-watt transportable with the addition of a portable battery pack. Hi everyone, Anthony back here with Aces Adventures and this time on today's episode we are at the Town Mall in Middleton, Ohio, um, Middletown, Ohio and uh, this is the first of our uh, three trip uh, mall trip to the uh, Cincinnati uh, Columbus general area. Um, there's three malls that I have wanted to see for quite a while and uh, we made the trip out there, uh, one being the Forest Fair Village Mall in uh, Cincinnati, the second being the Upper Valley Mall in Springfield, Ohio, and the third being this town mall uh, in Middletown, Ohio. So uh, well, I'm going to give you guys some information about the mall. Uh, there was, it was tough to find anything online about this mall. I did some rather uh, intense research, but couldn't find a whole lot. Um, but luckily, I want to give a big thanks to Sherman Cajal over at AbandonOnline.net. Make sure you check out his site. That was where I was able to find uh, some some pretty detailed information about this mall. So I'm going to read some uh, material from uh, his page and just kind of just kind of highlight some of the points that I find interesting, and I uh, think that you guys might find interesting as well. So uh, this mall was developed by the Jacobs Group, which is uh, have they've done a lot of malls uh, in the uh, Cleveland, Ohio area. And uh, the mall opened on uh, in 1975, and the first store to open was a McAlpin's, which I'm not too familiar with what that is. If you know what that is, uh, make sure you leave a comment uh, in the uh, comment section below. And I'm going to read off some of the uh, anchor stores and just some of the stores that I found that were interesting that were in this mall when it opened up. Uh, some of the ones that, again, you guys would probably be interested in and would you know know about. Um, the uh, had an Elder Beerman, of course. It still has a Sears. It had a Penny's. Um, it had a Camelot Music. Uh, a carousel snack bar, a casual corner, uh, Chick-fil-A, uh, Earring Tree, Foxmore. Man, some of these are really bringing back some memories. Uh, I'd had the Gap, uh, GNC, of course, uh, Hickory Farms of Ohio, Hot Sam Pretzels, which is awesome, um, KB Toys, JB Robinson Jewelers, um, Kenny Shoes, The Limited, uh, Noble Shoe Shop, too sure what that was, uh, Radio Shack, Sterling Optical, Spencer's, you know, some of your more common run-of-the-mill shops, um, Tom McCann, which is uh, long gone. Uh, Walden Books and World Bazaar, which I think is um, like a like a furniture, Indian rug uh, type of place. So uh, the small uh, when we went through it, it was extremely dead. Um, there was only uh, a handful of stores open, and it's a very small mall. It's kind of like a Y shape is the best way I can really describe it. And you'll notice here in just a little bit that uh, the benches that are in this mall uh, they're definitely the same benches. 
uh, that were used uh, in the Euclid Square video. I mean, to a T, they're exactly the same benches. So it has a lot of this. A lot of these models have a lot of the same uh, developers and designers. So you're going to see uh, a lot of similar uh, elements in these models. Fast forward to the uh, early 2000s, and uh, there was some redevelopment plans for this mall. Um, they had floated by some different ideas and they had two proposals uh, for the mall and of course these proposals en ended up hitting financial hurdles and never happened. Um, the first proposal was to keep one anchor, uh, develop new outlots and construct a new central park. Uh, proposal two was to tear down the town mall and create a new urbanist town center with interconnected streets including retail, restaurants and office space along with upper level residences. And uh, the third proposal was to redevelop town mall into a mixed use center and include retail buildings outlots and uh, multi-family housing. So fast forward here to present day and uh, as you can see I'm walking through the Sears here which is closing and is going to be another death blow for this mall. Um, there was some recent development in 2015 um, a Burlington Coat Factory did take over part of the Dillard space, but this mall um, is headed down the death spiral, unfortunately. Um, and this is a really nice mall, too. It's a real nice, small, um, you know, community mall. It's the only mall within 15 miles of any other malls, so it's got that going for it. A lot of times, as you guys know, there are several reasons why these malls fail. Um, and one of the key reasons, I believe, whether it's you know debated upon or not, is the fact that there's just too many malls. So this mall um, did not have a ton of competition from other local malls, but like I said, there's a thousand reasons why malls die, and no one seems to really want to uh, put their finger on just one specific reason yet. So uh, I'm not going to babble anymore here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. There is two more malls coming up uh, in the near future, the Forest Fair Village Mall in uh, Cincinnati and the Upper Valley Mall in Springfield, Ohio. Um, welcome to all of our new subscribers, and if you like my work and you enjoy what we do, uh, the greatest way you can help contribute is to check out our Patreon page um, at patreon.com slash acesadventures. Uh, follow me on my Instagram account and Twitter account at acesadventures1, and uh, keep your eye out for the future live streams and future content coming. You guys enjoy the rest of the video. This is Anthony with Aces Adventures, and everybody enjoy the rest of their day and the episode.